Okay guys, welcome back. Um, the one I have is obviously a little bit shorter than what I would like to be using. Um, so we're not gonna do a full complete disassembly, but what I am gonna do is explain the process to do it. Um, that with YouTube, it's ever changing. One minute is okay to do it, and the next minute it's not. We're gonna err on the side of caution here, but I'm gonna go through the full detailed explanation of how to go about changing your handguard if you've never done it. Um, this isn't a sponsored thing by Street Bureau, Street, Street Beto, however you sell but I like your kit. It comes with all kinds of different security bits and all the other stuff. The reason I have it is you're going to need to take and find a bit to fit these because you need to remove your gas fly. So, because you're not going to want to take a chance on um, trying to loosen your nut here and break the bend your gas block. So, remove your gas block first. Once that's removed, grab your wrench, remove your old um, barrel nut. Now, as you notice on here, you've got all these little holes. So, what you do is you put this on first. Mind you, the gas block's not here. You put this on first, you tighten it down. Nice and snug. And then you only adjust it enough to get your gas block through one of these holes. That's why there's so many. To line it back up into here. So once you got your get there, barrel nut back on, which goes this way. Sit, Ubu, sit. Then you can sit there and take your hand guard and screw it into place. No? No? Oh, you're right. <laughs> See if you're paying attention. You need to put your gas block back in first. Once you get your holes lined up, put your gas block in. Um, make sure it's back in. Um, one thing I was gonna, I forgot to mention earlier, is a lot of people will take, you know, that are inexperienced, they'll take and f find some way to index this. So when they go to put this on, it's in the right spot. Um, some barrels have indents, some do not. So pay attention when you take this off make sure you get it lined back right up because uh, that does make a difference so when you get your rail nut back on your gas tube back on then you can throw your hand guard on it line it up get it nice and snug into place and then you'll take your little indexing pin put it in and back it out a little bit so you hear it drop into place and then you can just tighten it up Nice and snug. Um, unfor like I said, unfortunately, this, as you can see, even if this was on here, it would definitely cover up the end of the barrel. I think you can see that still, so. <coughs> um, which is kind of cool looking, but not practical. So, and the owner said he didn't want it on there if it wasn't going to stay on there, and I don't blame him. But again, with YouTube's ever-changing policies on how to do it um, and what you can and can't do, it, it becomes a very interesting endeavor to sometimes put something out that explains things and shows you, but next week they might channel strike you for it. So, and if you want proof of that, go check out Demolition Ranch. Um, YouTube's went back and forth several times on some of the stuff he's done. One day it's okay, the next day they strike him down. Uh, a couple months later they say, okay, we're sorry you can do this, but you can't do that. And YouTube's always changing. <coughs> and you know, it's well, it is what it is. Anyway, for another quick summary again, take your old hand guard off, take your gas block off, move your barrel nut. Put your new barrel nut on, Line your holes up once you get it tight. 
with your uh, gas block tube. Reinstall your gas block, making sure you've got it in the right spot, make sure it's indexed correctly. Then you can put your hand guard in and put your screw in to lock it into place. Um, it, changing your hand guard is very simple, so very straightforward. Um, I took the bolt and charge handle out just so I didn't have it rattling around and you know, it's a little flatter this way. <coughs> I want to thank Flyland, or Flyland for sending this. <coughs> um, I've done a few of their flashlights before. Um, for them to send this item was phenomenal. Um, I'm in the process of putting together an AR-15 for our here at the house. Just don't have all the bits and pieces yet. Um, that being said, this is going to look really nice on the one I built. Because the one I was going to build is just a stock looking, looks like an old AR-4. So, M4, I'm sorry, M4. Or M16, or however you want to look at it. Um, but, you know, it looks like an old military rifle because it's dirt cheap, basic, bone stock, you know, no frills. This is going to look really nice on a 16 inch barrel. So, that being said, short, quick, and dirty. You know, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up below. Um, if you're gonna do work on any kind of home projects, get yourself a nice little kit like this, where it's got all the bits you could ever need. Like again, this isn't sponsored by them. <laughs> I just like the size of the kit. It's got everything you need in it for, you know, removing gas box. And everything else I, i'll do a separate video on this <coughs> but it's really simple really easy to do guys um again if you have any questions hit me up so that's it for now unfortunately the short barrel wouldn't look right with the long handguard on it i wasn't aware of that when he said to drop it off and i wanted to hurry up and get this video done and out this week <coughs> because we may happen to be moving soon so that's still up in here Anyway, until next time, SOP says, peace.